Olena Radevic. <laughs> Artem Alexiev. And the first to the finish line is Stefania Palazova. Mikhailo Kimishev. This athlete always shows determination and precise technique. You let me win. Daria Trehubova. Congratulations, you win. In Fair Play. Written by Lena Kibina, director and Ivanov. Okay, come here. No, camera hates me. Come on, come on. So beautiful. <laughs> the air is so fresh. Don't you love it here? Yes, I wish we could come here more often. Episode 1. Shall we grab some lunch? I can't. I'll be late. Stepa. It can't go on like this. You have to leave him. Let's go, please. Stefa, I don't want to push you. You're right. I'll talk to Yaroslav. It's the right thing to do. I deserve to be happy, right? You deserve it more than anyone. Call me tonight. I'll be waiting, no matter how late it is. You are on call tonight. Maybe it can wait for tomorrow. I can deal with my patients. Call me any time. I'll be waiting. Have a good day. I draw high. What happened? Everything is ready. Let's go. Forty to thirty. Game to Kurakov, Kurakov, Nazarenko. One love and set one. Artem. Artem. He is wooden. Make him run for it. Left side. Right side. Got it. Go. Time. Hi, Steffi. Dennis, I asked you not to call me that. It's a shame Halia gave you and your sister such beautiful names charged to win Stefa and Martina. Mom has vivid imagination. As you can see, none of us is a Graf or a Navratilova. No big deal, we already have a champion in our family. I hope Artem will be the second one. What do you mean, in our family? Out. Well done, Artem. Well done. Bravo. That's my boy. Right. See you later. I wonder why your grandma isn't here. She was going to come. Halia wanted to come, but she had an urgent business. Let me take your picture and send it to her. With Coach Dennis, then. Okay.
Okay, great. Let's send it to her. Oh, that's her mom. I'll wait in the car. Of course he won, out champ. I'll be in the car. I was going to send you pictures. Tell Artem I'm proud of him. Tell him I said hi. Listen. I'm throwing a small party today. That's why I'm calling. Mom, what party? Come and find out. Don't be late. Okay, bye. See you. Thirty-two red. Let's count it. Wow. Good. It's just for one night, for some, it's still young. Good, we're finally starting to arrive. I'm doing my best, Halino Vogna. Yaroslav, you can't take all the credit. I appreciate your contribution to my business, but you could use some humility, buy something for your wife. Here, an unplanned bonus. Thank you. An evening gown or something. I can't look at what she's wearing, okay? I'm out of here, don't be late. Of course. Valia, wait, I can explain. Don't hi. Hi. Did you have a fight? Just a little, it's okay. Do you want to tell me? There is nothing to tell, Valia is a jealous fool. Dinner is ready. I just need to reheat it. Artem, can you put away your phone for a second? You're glued to it. Do you want to eat in your room? Did he lose? No, he won. I don't know what's going on. I got an invitation to the history competition. Really? My smart girl, after the school year ends, you'll go to Berlin. You have such a bright future in front of you. I envy you guys. Especially Artem. You're both talented in your own ways. Artem, lunch is ready. Get down from the counter. I'm not a role model, of course, I have no career, I could be a good pediatrician, though maybe it's not too late to get a job. Stefa, come on, that is always busy, if you start working too, please don't. Nina. What happened between you and Valia? Nothing. We're going out for dinner tonight. What are we celebrating? I don't know. Wow! Right. You're here already? I thought I'd have time for a glass of champagne. Just kidding. You look so, you're gorgeous. Don't try to flatter me, Dennis. I'll always drink champagne with you anyway. I don't mind if you do. Shall we go? Yes. Get in.
Get out of my room. Nina, listen. Can you give me some money? I'll pay you back later. Get lost. You got yourself into it. You deal with it. You don't spend anything. Why do you need the money? Artem, get lost. Okay, Cash, where are you? Artem, get out of here. I need money. Are you getting ready? Get out of here. Why aren't you dressed yet? I'm not going. Cut the attitude and go get changed. Okay. I can't hear you. Okay. How did your math contest go? It's next week. Daddy, I need to change. Sure, baby. I whore. I'm not making it up. Mom is having a party. We need to go. I see. Okay. I'll wait. Love you. Bye. Artem is out of control. He was rude to me again. I think he's in some kind of trouble. You should talk to him. He's impossible to talk to. He won today's finals, by the way. Stefa, I respect your mother, but your opinion of Artem's tennis talent. He's very athletic. I wish he was more academic. What are you wearing? What do you mean? A dress. Here, try this on. It's more up to the occasion. Nina? Stefa, you didn't have to. I'd do it myself. Go get dressed. Thanks. No. Okay. Halia, I think it's time to make the announcement. Let's wait for Stefa. I don't want to have to repeat it to her. Her lectures make my teeth rattle. Your daughter has high standards. It's a good thing. It is, but it can give one a heart attack. That's true. However, I was the one who raised her like this. Here they come. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hello. Sit down. If you ever push me again. What will you do to me? Well, my dear ones, the moment has come to tell you what we are actually celebrating here. Dennis and I got married today. Yes, 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 we are. Married? Congratulations. After the party, we are going to Rome. Well, Granny is on fire. Unbelievable. How nice, a Roman holiday. That's right, Lena, it's just for three days. Though, that's all we can afford, business. So, relax, have fun, Dennis, and I want you all to have a good time. Cheers. Cheers. Waiter, can I? Behave and be quiet. Mom, can I talk to you for a minute? Excuse us, my daughter needs me. Please help yourselves. Mom, why are you doing it? Why do women get married? He's 17 years younger than you. So what? I mean, you're betraying dad's memory. Stefa, it's your trauma talking and not you. You refuse to accept his death, but it doesn't mean I should give up on my life. Besides, you have nothing to reproach me for. I respect his memory. My tennis academy bears his name. Dad was a great man. And this? Let bygones be bygones. Ashes to ashes. Mom, 
He doesn't love you. He married you for your money and status. He doesn't love you. Enough. Stefa, stop it. Halina Lvovna, congratulations. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Let's go, my savior. Dad, listen, I need money. I gave you some last week. Have you spent it all? Dad, please, I really need it. Bravo. Let the fun go on, let's eat. Dad, do you hear me at all? I hear you loud and clear, but I'm not going to give you money. Okay, I'll ask Haley. Don't even think about it, especially today. Can I offer a toast? Of course, my favorite grandchildren are going to greet me. My brother and I love our Haley a lot. We adore her, she has done so much for us. Haley is the best grandmother in the world. I know you don't like me to call you grandma. I don't. Anyway, what I wanted to say is I want you to be the happiest and the healthiest and to live long and prosper. Thank you, my dear. I have the best grandchildren in the world, and also the most talented. Artem is our future tennis champion, and Nina will be a lawyer. She is going to enroll at a law school. I love you guys. We love you too. Thank you to my grandchildren. Right, Grandma, congratulations. Be happy. Thank you. I love you. I couldn't get it today, but I will. I don't know when soon, yes. I'm sure by. Get it inside. Son, you are so big. Hands off me. Shall we dance, too? Congratulations, Mom. Martina. What a nice surprise. How did you find out? Halia. I found her. Stefa, why did she come back? Get out. I don't want to see you. There is no wedding without a scandal. At least there was no fist fight. Thank God. 
put it inside. Yaroslav, clean up the books for the tax service, okay? Don't let me down. Everything will be fine, don't worry. Also, find out what Martina wanted. I think she will tell you soon enough. Anyway, I trust you. Don't let me down, you'll be fine. Have a good time on your honeymoon. Thanks, bye. Well, let's take a picture together, okay? Young man, smile. And done. Great, thank you, my friends. Stay in touch, Lena, goodbye. Bye. Bye, Toma, bye. Goodbye. Bye. Take the flowers. What is it, my dear? You're okay. Say hi to Artem. Okay. Give her some sedative to help her sleep. It's a stress for her. Bye. Well, shall we go? Let's go. Take my coat. Yes. Artem, what's going on? Why did you leave? Is something wrong? What the hell was she doing there? You saw her. I did, and I don't want to see her again. I don't know what she wants. But it doesn't change anything for you and Nina. Do you hear me? Go to sleep. Tayamaka, everything is going to be okay. Stop calling me Tayamaka, did you hear that? It's my bedtime, good night. I love you. Good night. I thought our wedding was a good occasion to reconcile everyone. You, Stefan, Martina. Mm -hmm. Are you overstepping? Okay, I'm sorry. Do we have water in the car? No, we can buy some at the gas station. Martina. I will never forgive Martina, okay? She left her husband. Their family life really was awful. But abandoning two small children. And it was my favorite daughter who did it. Halia, you still have Stefa. Stefa. Stefa has always been spineless. I pinned all my hopes on Martina. I invested everything I had into her and raised a selfish monster. Stefa is raising your grandchildren. Yes. What a feat. All she was capable of was marry a man she didn't love and raise kids who aren't hers. Wait. 
You mean she and Yaroslav don't love each other? Can't you see that? Well... Let's better talk about our three days in Rome. Do we have a plan? Of course. What is it? First, we'll stop by at the Tomalins. They are expecting us. Then... Go on, I'm listening. Halia, Halia. Why is our family so weird? Weird, why? It's just unusual. What do you think will happen next? I don't know. But I promise you, Dad, and I will do everything to make sure she stays out of your lives. Listen, you shouldn't have attacked Halia like that. I know you don't like Dennis, but what matters is that she is happy with him. Please, let's not talk about it. We've had enough stress for one day. What is it? Nina? I'm fine. It's just the stress. I need to lie down, that's all. We haven't heard from her for eight years, and now here she is. You know her, Martina never does anything without a reason. If she came, it means she has a concrete goal. What if Nina and Artem are her goal? Don't worry about that. I made sure she lost her parental rights. When? Almost immediately after she disappeared. Really? You didn't tell me. Stefa. There are lots of things I don't tell you. I was going to tell you. I... Excuse me. Hello? Yes. Okay. Mom and Dennis were in an accident. Let's go. Wait. You stay with the kids. They shouldn't be left alone right now. I'll go. Okay. How is she? She has woken up. You can come in, one person, and not for long. I'll go. Okay, follow me. Where am I? Mom. I was so scared. I'm all right. 
except that we missed the flight. Mom, I'm sorry. I said a lot of stupid things to you. I'm sorry. No, you forgive me. I hurt you a lot. I love you so much. I have good news for you. You don't have a cranial trauma, so it's safe for you to go home. You too, by the way. I'm staying. I'm not going anywhere. Listen, your wife is out of danger, and you need a good rest after everything you went through. A broken arm isn't a joke, either. Dennis, go home. I'll stay here till morning. Okay, call me if anything happens. Of course. Bye. Get better. I'm so grateful to you. If not for you, Mom and I had a huge fight before she got into this accident. If something happened to her, I wouldn't forgive myself. Besides... Stefa, everything is fine. Your mom is alive, and she will recover quickly. I don't want to waste another minute. I'm moving in with you today. I haven't slept a wink. How is your mother? Thank God, she's better, she'll live. Thank God. What about Dennis? Just a couple scratches and a broken arm, nothing serious. He got away lightly. Okay. Yaroslav. Yes? I want a divorce. What happened? I met someone else. Who is he? A doctor, emergency physician. He saved mom last night. I see. Okay. Let's get a divorce. But you'll talk to the kids yourself. I'll tell you right now that I won't object against you seeing them, but they will stay with me. Of course I'll talk to them, but it should be their decision, too, who they want to live with. Stefa. Besides, excuse me. Yes. Stefa, your mom suddenly got worse. You should come back. What? I heard you promised me. What happened? Mom. I can't believe it. Darling. I did everything I could but it happens sometimes. Stefa? What?
I don't understand. The doctor said she'd get better. Why did she die? How? How did it happen? I don't know. What are you doing here? I had to call her. Is she dead? You will answer for it. Can I stay with you? Martina, get out of here. So, admitted with bruised sternum, broken rib, head trauma, loss of conscience caused by sharp drop in blood pressure and oxygen saturation. What can I say? It's not the hardest case. I hope, try to remember, what did you administer? What procedures were implemented? What's there to remember? I followed the protocol step by step. I find it hard to believe that you, with your experience, failed to treat such common trauma. I did. The fact remains that we've lost the patient, meaning that you made a mistake somewhere. I did. What was it? Okay. Let's wait for the post-mortem report. Go home. You promised she would live. Why? It's you. It's all your fault. I'm very sorry for your loss. What kind of doctor are you? Detective Ivashvinko, I'm investigating the accident causing the death of Helena Polozova, you all. Dr. Alexiev, emergency physician. He killed my wife. So you are the husband? Were you driving? I have a couple questions for you. Yes, of course. Please put her medical files together for the investigation. All right. Stefa, I can't believe it. I really can't. She was so cheerful, so happy. Now, now. She was the only one who understood me. Taimaka. Not dad, not even you. Artem. Okay, get yourselves together. Artem, I understand, it's been hard on everyone. But you still need to go to school. I'll give you one day, but tomorrow you both go to classes. Guys, go have some breakfast. The food is on the table, okay? Go. Are you still going to leave me for him? The man who killed your mother. Will you be able to live with him? I'm begging you not now.
After wedding, we were going to the airport. Halia suddenly felt unwell. It distracted me, and I lost control over the car. That's all. You married Polozova literally hours before her death. How long had you been in a relationship? Two and a half years. Why did you decide to get married? You had a great age difference. Was there some concrete reason? NP, we just loved each other. Did you sign up or not? We were going to but we hadn't gotten to it. Isn't it usually signed before the wedding? I don't know how it's usually done. Halia was in charge of all that, but a draft exists. Yaroslav Kurakov, Halia's lawyer and son-in-law, can confirm it. I will definitely talk to him, but could you describe its conditions in brief? What does it matter? What do you suspect me of? There's no need to be defensive. I'm asking you legitimate questions, considering that Miss Polozova was a wealthy woman. Poor Ior. Yes, he's in deep shit. Every doctor carries within himself a small cemetery. It's unavoidable. Who is the head physician here? You. Dr. Pavlo Krakow, what can I do for you? Nice to meet you. I was Miss Polozova's son-in-law. I'm listening. Dr. Krakow, you know very well what happened here. I request, no. I demand that Dr. Alexeev was fired. The cause of death of your mother-in-law hasn't been established yet. The cause is that you hire amateurs. If the clinic's management does not take measures, I will. I have enough connections and means for that. Also, tell Mr. Alexeev not to try and manipulate my wife. I don't think he wants more trouble than he already has. Okay, I'll tell him. Olena Radevic. Artem Alexiev, you have to understand, I don't have a choice, I have to fire you, Mikhailo Kimishev. I understand, Pavlo Ivanovic. Otherwise, the ministry will fire me, or even close the clinic. Daria Trehubova. Besides this Polozova's family, her son-in-law was here today. In talking about how tough he is and how he will do anything for his wife and his mother-in-law. Her son-in-law. Fair play. Yes, anyway. Hang in there. Written by Lana Kibina. I have to go. Director and dry even off. Does it mean that in case of divorce or sudden death of one of the spouses, the other one holds their own? Exactly. Do you know why Miss Polozova and Mr. Kravitz never signed it? Episode 2. I'm not sure. As far as I know, Dennis didn't like the conditions. Did Polozova leave a will? Actually, I don't know if there is one. I wasn't the one who drafted it. Thank you, Yaroslav. You're free to go. I'm always happy to help. What's up? Looks like Kravitz did get rid of his not-so-young bride. That's a classic. Are we going to the movies tonight? 
I can't, Anya. I still have work to do. So do you, by the way, find Kravitz for me. Hi, I, Captain, will do. <laughs> Where have you been? I've got news, this detective, Ibash Kanko, he suspects Dennis. He could have set up the accident to get rid of Halina. It's quite plausible. They hadn't signed the marriage contract. Even with you and Martina being direct heirs, he still will get a hefty sum. You were right. This marriage was your mother's mistake. Dennis used her, used her and killed her. Zoya, two more CC. That's right. Why didn't I check it sooner? I can't stand being home. Everything reminds me of her, her dresses, her pictures, her books. Evenings are the worst. I don't know what to do with myself. I'll probably move back into my place. I can't stay in her apartment. You think it will make it better? Hell if I know. I'll have another one. Listen, Dan, you've had enough. Vasya, I will decide when enough is enough, another one. Mr. Kravitz, you are under arrest on charges of murdering Miss Polozova. What? Are you all crazy? I didn't kill anyone. Listen, I'm not a killer. Okay, I'll come. What is it? <laughs> Stefa, I know how you feel, but maybe we shouldn't re-traumatize the kids with our divorce. Do you hear me? There is no need for this show. I'm staying, but it doesn't mean I'm staying with you. Turn off the light, please. Good night. Good night. Hi. Hi. Rudolf Lvovic, hello. The problem is solved, I assure you. Dr. Alexiev doesn't work here anymore. We will make sure nothing like this happens again. I will raise the question of cancelling Alexei's license. I think my colleague won't object. 
Didn't you say he doesn't work here anymore? Pavlo Ivanovic. Hello. I'm here to explain. The situation with Palazova was complicated. I have found out something. What the hell are you doing? Are you trying to ruin me? Go away. Let me finish. God, please escort him out and don't let him in again. There was no medical mistake. I can prove it. Fine, but not here and not now. This way, please. I loved her. How else can I explain it? I can't imagine my life without her, you and your accusations. It's ridiculous. It was an accident. Yes, I lost control of the car, but I swear I didn't want her to die. I didn't have. What is it you call it? A motive. Your motive is on the surface. Yes, of course it is. It's just... You don't know everything. Pray tell. That's why we are here. Listen, I'm a wealthy man too. I don't need Halia's money. You can check. I have several apartments in the downtown, inherited from my parents also. I had been teaching at a Florida tennis academy for 10 years. Do you know what they pay their coaches? Why did you come back? I came back because of Halia. We met there, in the States. She came to visit her friend. We fell in love. She didn't want to stay with me then. She was having some financial problems. I helped her. Interesting. Does her family know? No, she didn't want them to know, and she asked me not to tell anyone. Why? That's how she was. She had to always stand tall. Okay. We'll check your story. Of course. Do it. Just please take me to her funeral. I have to say goodbye, please. Lyonia, hi. Hi. I need your help. Just make it quick. I have a meeting. It'll have to wait. I saw the forensic report on Palazova. I've analyzed it, and I think I have a chance to prove my innocence. What can I do for you? Rudko fired me, so I have no access. Do it for me. Look up her file, blood work, check up results. Okay, but it has to stay between us. Thanks. You're welcome. Farewell, Mommy.
God, what a circus. Let's go. Dennis, my dear. Why did you bring him here? Did you know that one year ago, Kravitz helped Helena to settle her financial difficulties? As her lawyer, you had to know. Of course I knew. You didn't tell me. Why? You didn't ask me. Does it justify the... My condolences. I didn't kill her. Thank you for coming. Of course, Stefa. I'm glad we had this memorial for Halia. I feel better now. I'll lit a candle for her tomorrow. Thank you. And Helena, you were a great help. You are always welcome at our house. See you. Stefa, come with me. Where to? My hotel. It's not far from here. Are you really coming with her? Go in Dad's car. It's okay. I want to find out the truth. How are the kids growing up? You take after our mother. No, I'm daddy's girl. You are mom's carbon copy. Not anymore. I have changed. I don't even love her precious tennis anymore. Remember the first time she brought us to the tennis court? Take these. See, she's a lefty. Oh, God. What is it, Stefania? You're all thumbs. Enough. I can't look at this. She's too young, that's all. Okay, Martina, come on. Mom was proud of you. You were a gifted athlete. So is Artem. And you had a knack for handmade things. Remember what you gave me for my 15th birthday? No, what? It was when Mom forbade me to date Ilya. What did Mom tell you? That Ilya distracts me from practicing and that he isn't right for me. I love him, Stefa. I love him so much. Stop crying. I have something for you. Happy birthday. It's so cool. Wow, thank you. This bunny is going to be your amulet. It'll help you win. Thanks, sis. I love you so much. Here? I can't believe it. I thought you had lost it a long time ago. I always take it with me. Are you going to tell me why you came back? Let's come up to my room.
Dad, can I go for a walk? I need to be alone. Okay, just don't be long. Hi. You look like one of the men in black. My grandmother died. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Did you get it? I haven't yet bought. Remember the deal. If you bring the money, I'll give you a chance. Masha, Masha, wait. I know where we can get the money. Really, I remember the code to dad's safe. Okay. Well, come on in. So I was living in Portugal near the ocean, the sun, the breeze, the water, and you weren't alone. With Dima, he was a surfing instructor. We started our own school, and it was doing well. I helped him and was happy, up to a moment. Abandoning two small children and living a happy life. I don't know anyone else who is capable of this. You always did whatever you wanted, lived only for yourself. Stefa, you're wasting your efforts. Life has punished me already. You mean breaking up with this Dima was your cruel punishment? We are too different. You will never understand me. But you're right. It's time to fix my mistakes. I want Nina and Artem back. Everything is so simple for you. You abandon them and take the back when you want. It won't work. Though Yaroslav had deprived you of parental rights. How did you do it? Your husband isn't the only one with connections. I won't let you have them. They won't agree to it. They hate you. We'll see. Just please make it quick. Okay, okay, see? Yes. Adrenaline, 600 mac, the bleeding stops. We didn't just follow the protocol, we had prevented all consequences of the accident. Do you see what it means? Something else killed her. Exactly, Halina didn't die of the trauma. Come on, yes. Okay. What, no cash at all? The laptop will have to do. What did she say? Just like I thought, she came to get back the kids. She has a court decision reinstating her parental rights. Bitch, I'll find out whom she had bribed, and I'll take care of it. We need to decide what to do next. 
She'll cause us a world of trouble, of course, but she won't be able to take away the kids. When it comes to court, the judge will consider all the circumstances which aren't on her side. Child support, being present, health care, etc. What if she bribes the judge, too? Stefa, don't worry. We have the upper hand. We just need to stay together in this. I never told you that. You are a very good person, Stefa. And the best mother. We are together because the situation is what it is. But the bond between us can be stronger than any romantic feelings. Raising two great kids is a hard job. And we did well in it because we are together. We don't need a divorce. Stefa, are you going to say something? Yes, we have to be together for now. But you need to be kinder to the kids. They really need out support. Yes. Okay. Nina, are you in there? Are you coming out? Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Sit down and eat like a human being. I can't. I have a practice before the first period. Okay. I'm out of here. Have a nice day. You, too. Don't wear your street shoes inside. Nina, come out. Breakfast is ready. Have a nice day, son. You, too. Where is he going so early? Tennis practice. Right. I'll take a shower. I didn't sleep well. Nina. You didn't sleep all night. Nina, what happened? I'm fine. I can see you're lying. Did you have a fight with Thalia? You'll make up. And even if you don't, it's not the end of the world. Maybe he's just not right for you. I'm preggers. What? I'm pregnant. Was it Valia? Does he know? He dumped me. He was jealous of Dania. I swear nothing happened between us. Nina, how could you? What were you thinking? I don't know. What is going to happen now? I've let you all down. You, Daddy, do you hate me now? I shouldn't have told you. It's okay. Nina, you're a smart girl. You did the right thing telling me. Well then, now we need to get ourselves together and decide what to do next. When did you find out? Yesterday. I did the test. Don't tell Dad. I'm not going to. Promise me. I promise. 
Maybe you should stay home today. No, Dad will figure out something is wrong. I'm fine, really. What? God, not this. Hi. Well. Here. Nice stuff. You could have brought it earlier. What took you so long? Okay, I'll sell it today or tomorrow. I know someone. Wait for me here. I can't take it to school. Darling, I could use more nice surprises like this. Anya, you know I don't always have time for this. <laughs> May I? You want it? To see me? Yes, I need to talk to Dennis Kravitz, it's urgent, it can change the course of the investigation. Son of a bitch. Stepa. What happened? Nothing. See you later. Is this your practice? Isn't it too early for a date? No. I know Valia dumped you, but keep your envy to yourself. Masha, just go. Artem, Nina, I need to explain. And we need to be in class, in case you forgot. Please, Artem, wait, I want to hear what she has to say. Okay, let's hear it. Can you remember how soon she lost conscience after starting to asphyxiate? I've already told you. It was seconds, she was struggling for breath. Seconds. That's what I thought, look, the injuries from the accident weren't fatal, I did everything according to the protocol, she had positive dynamics. She could only get worse if she had an underlying chronic disease, her heart, liver, lungs. But her medical history doesn't mention any, so the only thing that is left is poisoning. But nothing was found in her blood. Yes, but there are substances, you must know that, they dissolve in a few hours. The amount present is so small that a regular blood test can't reveal it. But the victim still dies. I know, try to remember what she ate and drank at the banquet. The same that everybody else, appetizers, cake, champagne, I'm fine, and so are the other guests. As far as I know, this is bullshit. You, you're trying to redeem yourself. Really? Yes. I believe your fate depends on it, too. On your way to the airport? Did you stop anywhere? Talk to anyone? No. On second thought, Martina, her prodigal daughter, she gave us a crate of Portuguese wine. I'm not sure if Halia drunk it.
I married your father out of gratitude. I never loved him. He saved me from jail. So on top of everything, you almost got in jail. Isn't she a saint, Nina? I like taking risks, extreme driving, other extreme sports. It didn't end well, not just for me. The guy survived, but the case still went to trial. Yaroslav was my lawyer. I even liked him at first. So smart and interesting, so much in love. When he proposed, I said yes. That's when it started. He wanted me to stay at home and be a homemaker. I wanted traveling, sports, drive. I wanted to live. You know, I tried to be a good housewife. But the list of his demands was endless. Jealousy, too. He tortured me with it, and... I decided to get a divorce. Yaroslav managed to persuade me that a baby would save our marriage. That's how you two were born. I wanted to be loved and be happy. When you were 12 months old, I met Dima. Okay, I've heard enough. It's like Dad said. She left us for her lover. Artem, let her finish. Are you coming? No. Are you going to listen to her bullshit? Yes. Suit yourself. Nina, I didn't just leave. It took me a lot of time to make a decision. Almost six years. Six years? Yes. Wow. Even though I loved him more than anything, and Dima had been waiting for me all the time, then something happened, and I realized it was the end. You see, life rarely gives us easy solutions. You make a choice, and then it's not easy to change something or at least explain, but I tried. I know. Life is hard, sometimes you just want. Baby, are you okay? I'm pregnant. One bottle is missing. Send it to the lab. See, and the husband said she didn't touch it. Hi, Stefa. I didn't kill your mother. If Ivashkenko helps me, I'll prove it. Halino was poisoned. What? Who? We don't know it yet, but Ivashkenko seems a good detective. He'll figure it out, and when he does, can we finally be together? I don't know. I know you're grieving your mother now, but let me be there for you. I want to help. I need to be with my family now. Stefa, we talked about it. You let your sense of duty put you in the corner. You don't have to be responsible for everyone. Being happy isn't a crime. It's not a betrayal. It's normal and natural, Stefa. Hello. 
Yes. She left a well? No, Stefa, I didn't know about it, either. I have no idea why she didn't tell me. What do you mean, poisoned? Who told you that? I whore told you, I see. Does the detective know? Well, that's unexpected. I'll call you back. Bye. Bye. Hi. Where is my laptop? What laptop? You took my laptop. Where is it? Did you sell it? Give it to someone. Come on. Are you deaf? Get in the car. What the hell are you doing? You're hurting me. Get in the car. I'm not going anywhere with you. Artem, Artem. <laughs> Mom is asleep, by the way. She found the laptop and has been on it ever since. Haven't you sold it yet? Not yet. Tell her I gave it to you. She doesn't believe me. I can tell her at breakfast. Breakfast? You think you're spending the night? Yes, if you don't mind. I don't feel like going home right now. Especially after your father. Won't your folks come looking for you? My mother can't handle stress. Don't worry, they don't even know about you. I never told them. Won't Nina tell on you? No, even when we fight. She never sets me up. Okay, you can crash on the couch in the living room. As Miss Palazova's legal representative, I invited you here to announce her last will. Miss Palazova came to me around six months before her tragic death. Are you ready? Can I start? Here goes. I, Helena Palazova, born in 1963, being of sound mind and memory, hereby confirm that in the event of my death, all my movable and real property. The list follows, an apartment at 27, Yumeko Street, country house at 5, Sadabaya Street, etc. The other addresses are also in it and also Yuri Polozov Tennis Academy are bequeathed to my grandchildren. Artem Kurakov and Nina Kurakova in equal shares, until their coming of age, Stefania Palazova and Yaroslav Kurakov will be managing the estate for them. An interesting decision on mom's side. Miss Polozova, I'm here to arrest you. Me? Why? Where are you taking her? Your sister is a suspect in your mother's murder. 
What the? What's going on? Olena Radevic. You need to find out why they arrested her. Stefa, don't worry, we'll figure it out. Artem Alexiev. Artem didn't come home last night. His bed is untouched. Mikhailo Kimishev. Daria Trehubova. His phone is turned off. Shall we call the police? Wait, Nina, do you have any idea where your brother might be? I don't know. Maybe he has a girlfriend. I really don't know. In fair play. Freeze it. Blow it up, please. Yes. Written by Lana Kibina. Just a minute. Thanks for your help. I'll need a copy of this footage. Director and Dry Ivanov. Okay, you can have it. Hi. Hello again. You must be here about Martina Polozova. That too. You didn't give us your reasons for arresting my sister. Miss Polozova, we have reasons for rest, but I'm not at liberty to reveal them. What's going on? When it rains, it pours. First my mom, now Artem, Nina, Martina, it's... Episode 3. Nina and Artem are your kids, right? What happened to them? Artem went to school yesterday morning and didn't come back. He doesn't answer his calls, and his friends don't know where he is. Yes. It's a classic. Has it been over 24 hours? Yes. Then go to room 5 and file a report. Thank you. You mentioned Nina. Is something wrong with her? No. She is upset about Martina Artem too. Artem will come back. And I'm going to speak up my mind to him when he does. Is it your first time? No, it's not. You have to make it up to me for missing school. Come on, it's just one day. It's nothing for you, but I will have a hard time catching up. I couldn't go there today. How long are you going to hide? Your parents must have already filed the report. Masha, you aren't in school. With your grades, you can't skip a day. I don't feel well. What happened? I have a headache. Go lie down. Artem and I will make dinner. He's a great cook, a true chef. Better let Artem explain where he got this laptop. It's mine, I bought it with the money I've saved. My relatives gave me some, and... Are you sure? I don't like it. I don't want him to get you in trouble. Mom, no one is getting in trouble. Don't worry. Artem, do your parents know where you are? They do. Go lie down. Do you want me to put on a movie for you? I've got it, thanks. Listen, what happened to her? Rheumatoid arthritis. Is it just the two of you? Yes. Daddy left us before she got sick. For a younger chick. Doesn't he help you guys at all? No. He does. He pays my tuition and for some of mom's treatments. He doesn't earn much, anyway. Right. Now I see why you need money. You've been sitting with it for ages. Give it to me. I'm almost done. Give it to me. Valia, wait. You've been avoiding me all day. Let's talk. Come on. What do you want? I don't know what to do. Neither do I. You should have thought about it back then. We both should have. Now it is what it is. We aren't together anymore. Nothing happened between me and Dania. It's true. Do you believe me? 
Maybe. I just don't see how it changes anything. I mean... We could be together, you and I and our baby. Are you crazy, Kirokova? What baby? You're 15 and I'm 17. I'm not ready for this at all. Anyway, take care of it. There are ways. Hello, Yaroslav Artemovic. Hi, yes, Helena had her little secrets. It's a casino. I can't believe it, Mom. With her high moral principles, an underground casino? Why would she need it? Didn't her tennis academy bring enough money? Stefa, it's a different level. Yaroslav, I can't take over this so-called business. You don't have to, I'll take care of it. Stepa, believe me, this casino will provide for our family for many years ahead. When the kids turn 18, I'll hand it over to them. Wait, you want Nina and Artem to run it? Of course not, but so far it's a moot point. Listen, I'm at a loss. I need... I need to be alone. Please let me know if Artem shows up. Sure. IHR, hi, can you meet me? No, right now. Yes. That's right, I spent eight years abroad, and now I decided to come back. What's so surprising? Tell us in more detail about the reason. It's none of your business. Unfortunately, it is. Tell me about the Portuguese wine you gave your mother as a wedding present. Are you saying that I poisoned? Killed my own mother? Why? For the inheritance, I'll disappoint you. She left everything to my sister and my children. You couldn't have known it before the will surfaced, right? Done. The video from the cameras. Interesting. How will you explain it? It's not me. Really? Yes. Sasha, stop by at our place tonight. We need your help. Okay, as soon as I'm finished here. What is it this time? Later. I'm sending the case to the court. Thank you for coming. I had no idea about mom's illegal business. I should tell the police, but how? It's my mom's business. I'm sorry, but what does it matter now? It does. Yaroslav and I are in it together now. He said he'd take care of it himself. Very well, you can pay him salary. It's a normal practice for a hired manager. You trust him, don't you? I do. In spite of his numerous faults, he is a reliable person. He has never let down my mom or anyone in our family. Good, you can finally move in with me with clear conscience. He isn't going to stop you, is he? He's a smart man. He will understand. I don't know. He will. You said it yourself. You never were in love. It's not just about love. It's so complicated. 
Okay, let's sit down somewhere. There is no problem you and I wouldn't solve. Colleagues. In connection with the latest events, I'm forced to take over the management of this place. You will turn to me with all issues and also hand me the daily proceeds. I will personally control everything. Is that clear? Yes, Yaroslav Artemovic. Right. I'll have to let some people go. I don't need such a big stuff. Excuse me. Can you tell us who is going to go? I'll make a decision one week from now. Whoever shows good work, stays. Whoever doesn't. Well, I'm sorry. When Martina ran away from home, my mom got to hate her. She stopped seeing Yaroslav, her grandchildren. She didn't even want to hear her name. And you immediately came to the rescue of the abandoned husband and children. I had no choice. Good job. Hi. Look what I've got for you. Meet your new friend. How are you doing? Not great. The doctors say it won't go away quickly, maybe never. Don't worry, everything will be fine. We can do it. We'll help him get well. Do you like him? What are you going to call him? Mishko. Mishko? Little Mishko. Mishko? Yes, Mishko. Thank you, Stefa. I couldn't handle it without you. You're the woman I need. Artem was discharged, but he had to continue treatment as an outpatient. He couldn't sleep, couldn't eat well. Someone had to take care of Nina, too. And Yaroslav couldn't handle it. So yes, I moved in with them. Then it became a routine. Artem recovered. His asthma went away. Nina became a straight a student. And we kept posing as a happy couple for the kids. They got attached to me and I to them. I, you know, I, I don't know how I can just leave. Especially now. Nina is pregnant, and Artem ran away. This is news to me. Are there more bad news? No. Martina wants to take them away. She can hardly do it in her current situation. I don't believe she killed our mom. Suppose Martina had nothing to do with Helena Lvovna's death. You think the kids will want to stay with her? No, they don't want it. But who knows, maybe she persuades them. Stefa, let's cross this bridge when we come to it. There is no sense in winding yourself up. I'm sorry for interrupting. I just wanted to apologize. I was wrong. I shouldn't have attacked you. It's okay, it happens. No, really, if not for you, I go to jail. Stefa, I'm sorry about Martina. About the apartment, I'll move out next week. So it'll be at your disposal. Dennis, I'm sorry too. I was unfair to you. I understand. You know, 
I'm glad that you two are together. You're a great match. Have a good night. Let's do another one. Young man, smile. Guard, guard. Call the detective. Please. I need to talk to her. You screw around. And now you want to make my son responsible. It won't work. He is a child. I will protect him. You little whore. I'm not a whore. Don't call me that. What's going on here? Oh, good that you're here. I'm Velia's mother. Do you even know what's going on in your family? I am. Calm down. Calm down. Are you saying it to me? Your daughter is trying to pin her pregnancy on my son. I don't know who knocked her up, if she tries to make any claims. Please stop shouting. No one is making any claims. We'll deal with it. They'll deal with it. You should have raised her right. She's a whore. Watch your tongue. Or what? Are you going to hit me? Ma'am, ma'am, calm down enough. Unbelievable. Getting knocked up by God knows whom and trying to catch a boy from a decent family what are you staring at you should be ashamed dad are you pregnant Yaroslav we can talk later please and you bring your lover to your house oh now I see it runs in your family it figures like mother like daughter okay okay I'm leaving, everything's clear. Stefa is coming with me right now, and don't yell at the girl, it's hard for her as it is. Dad, don't. Yaroslav, stop it. Everything will be fine, go home. Please. Go home. I whore. I remember now, I might have an alibi. Please check all mom's guests' phones. They were all making pictures. Maybe one of them caught that cursed wine crate. I saw them putting it into mom's car trunk. Both locks were closed. No one had opened it. That's enough. You need to calm down. Everything will be fine. Do you hear? Shall I bring you water? Who was that man? Why did dad say he was your lover? His name is Ihor, Ihor Alexiev. He is a doctor. And yes, we are dating. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know how. I still don't know what is the right thing to do. Stefa, don't leave. Baby. I'm not going anywhere, especially now. I'm here for you. If you leave, we'll come with you. Artem and I can't be without you. Do you know where he is? At Masha's, I guess. Who is Masha? A girl from school. They are dating. You'll have an abortion in the next few days. I'll make an appointment. Dad, I haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll keep the baby. I will make this decision. Everything will be fine. Don't make her do something she might regret. If she's a burden for you, I'll take her with me. Take her where? To your lover. Come with me, I'll explain something to you. I understand. You think it's true love, that's wonderful. 
Stepa, but you are mistaken. Do you know he's had over ears in debt, car loan, mortgage, also child support for his daughter. Doctors don't make that much money. You've done your homework. I always do, Stepa. You're being used, and you don't see it. He wants a rich heiress. You didn't tell me anything I didn't know, also. Our relationship began long before I became a rich heiress. I called the detective today. Martina did kill Helena. They have proof. What proof? He didn't say. You can ask him yourself, if you are so curious. I need to find her a good lawyer. Tell me, why do you want to do it? Do you want her to get released and take away the kids? Where are you? Are you okay? I'm fine. Get Nina, and let's go to my place. Yaroslav is in no condition for a talk now. He said a bunch of mean things about you and Martina. He wants to force Nina to have an abortion. Stepa, it doesn't sound like the man you've been describing. It doesn't. We are all under a huge stress now. Any news about Artem? Nina says he must be at his girlfriend. At least something is right. I need to find a lawyer tomorrow. Yes. I'm with you. Thank you. Look at this, Artem. Have you baked it? Yes, I have. Mom, he's kidding. He can't cook. I baked it. It smells delicious. You're awesome. Watch out. It's hot. It's your father. Let him in. Why did you invite him? I'm sorry I'm so late, work, you know. I understand, as usual. Hi, Artem. Hi. I'm Masha's dad, what a twist, eh? Right, we know each other. You know each other? Yes, a casual acquaintance. Artem, so what about the laptop? Where did you get it? As I said, I've been saving money. And then you just went and gave this expensive thing to your classmate. Masha needed it for school. And I already have one, so... Can I take a look? Did you bake it? Your daughter. Awesome. Okay, give me the password. You don't know or you don't remember. Whose laptop is this? It's silly to keep lying. I already know it isn't yours. 
Okay, here, get dressed and let's go. Dad, where? Relax, I'll take him home. His family has reported him missing. I'll take the laptop to the precinct. I'm coming with you. So late at night? I need to tell you something. Good luck. Thanks. Well? I'm all ears, Masha. I made him steal it. I mean, I didn't know he would do it, but it's all my fault. I was tapping him for money. I insisted, so he... Masha, don't you have enough money? The money you give us can only buy us bare essentials. I want to do something nice for mom sometimes. Flowers, new clothes, a treat. You know, I can't give you more than I do. It's okay, I'm not blaming you. Do you see now what such your considered actions can lead to? It's not excuse for stealing, of course. But it looks like this guy is in love with you. I miss you so much. And I'm angry with you. Masha. I understand, we'll think of something. We could go somewhere on vacations. To the beach or something. What about mom? She'll go with us. Won't Urania mind it? She won't, she won't. Artem is home. When did he come back? I didn't hear him. I don't know. While we were sleeping. Artem? Taimaka. Artem Yaroslavovic, get up. Where have you been? Hands off me. I asked you a question. Yaroslav, don't. Girls, go. I need to talk to my son man to man. Just a calm talk. Where is my laptop? I will report you to the police. I don't care that you're my son. Where is my laptop? Report me. Your laptop is with the police anyway. Where? Did you do it? We did. It wasn't easy. Though, Kirakov is very particular about keeping his secrets, but it was all worth it. Look. Hlokov. The guy who informed the family about Polozova's will. I knew that. Kirakov doesn't look like someone able to poison his own mother-in-law. Wait, what about the CCTV video? Let's go. Have the kids left to school already? Yes, they are gone. Where are you going? To see Martina. Will your Ihor be there too? 
Give it to me. Yaroslav. What are you doing, Yaroslav? You're staying at home. Yaroslav, Yaroslav. He paid me more than I make in a year. I don't care how much he paid you. By switching the videos, you committed a crime. You have to understand, he virtually forced me. We'll need all footage for that day. Yes, of course. What is it? Mr. Kirokov didn't just switch the security footage. He said, there was a cameraman working in the restaurant. He told me to contact him and delete a part of his video footage. And I, I saved that fragment for myself, here. The bride's glass has to always be full. Helena, my sincere congratulations to you. Thank you. Okay, Anya, get him to the precinct. I'm going to arrest Krakow. Martina, congratulations. Stefa and I thought you would need a lawyer. Do we know each other? I don't think so. I'm I horse, Stefa's husband to be. What? Is she done with the current one? Yes. Where is Stefa? We agreed to meet here. She must be busy with the kids. She doesn't answer her phone. It happens all the time. Why don't we wait for her in a cave? I also have a couple questions about Yaroslav. You know him well, don't you? Let's go find Stefa. You can ask your questions on the way there. Don't go, please. How would I know my mom would throw such a show? I wasn't going to tell her. It was an accident. I don't care what's going on between you and your mom. I'll deal with it myself, just like you told me. Listen, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thought we could. The bell. Hi, can I talk to you for a minute? Of course. I'd like. Hey. Okay. See you. I... I wanted to say I'm sorry. I was a total bitch. And it was I who got you in all this. Masha, come on. It's not your fault. I know that your mom, if I were you, I wouldn't be able to handle you. You're doing great. You're awesome, really. You don't need to get money from me anymore. I like you, Artem. Wait, do you mean it? <laughs> yes. Also, dad isn't a monster, I painted him. 
I understand, he left you, and you're upset with him and jealous. He's actually a cool guy, right? Right. What is the plan? Shall we wait here or go to his office? Sasha, look. Hello, what's going on here? Nobody answers the door. Do you know where Kirokov is? How would I? And your sister. I thought she was here. Is this hers? Yes, what happened? Why do you have it? Okay. It's not locked. God, we're fighting or what? Mr. Ivashkin Co., what the hell? What's going on? It's all clear. I suspected he was going to escape. Who? Yaroslav. Martina, your ex-husband is a dangerous and cunning criminal. He was manipulating the investigation, throwing suspicion first at Kravitz, and then you. You mean Yaroslav killed our mother? Yes. Give me as many details about your ex-husband as you can. Looks like he took your sister hostage and escaped. Anything you can tell us will help looking for him. He's a bastard. I have just been telling Hor that he is capable of anything. Thus, you will come into inheritance in six months. Can we speed it up? No, we can't. I can't violate the law. Really? You can't. Detective Ivashkenko, I strongly advise against dealing with lawyer Hilakov. He is going to jail, and he might drag you along with him. How dare you? Don't mind them, it's an outrageous lie. Goodbye, I'll see you later. Where is now Yaroslav Kirokov, who prompted you to forge Helena Polozova's will? I hate popcorn. It makes me sick. I can't watch a movie without popcorn. Maybe I'll try tonight. Artem. What? Come here. The cops are looking for dad. What? Artem, we need to go home now. Mesha, I'm sorry. I have to run. Thank you so much. I can't cook at all. If not for you, the kids would be starving today. Welcome. What the hell? Who are you? Her new lover? What's going on? Why is dad wanted? Calm down. I'll explain while we're having lunch. Don't explain anything. Just get out, both of you. Artem, listen to me. I'm Stefa's good friend. You mean you're Stefa's lover? Cheat too. There's no one here I can trust. Artem. Artem, stop, stop. Don't tell me what to do. You're nobody. I'm going. You are not going anywhere. No, I will. I'll just tell it like it is. Your father killed your grandmother. That's why the police are looking for him. And he's on the run. The police think he took Stefa with him as a hostage. When all this ends, and it will end well, Stefa is going to live with Ehor. They love each other and want to be together. 
It's a complicated situation, but we'll get through it together. Now you have to behave like grown-up, sensible, responsible people and not like two toddlers who only make it worse by their tantrums. Got it? Yes. It's me, yes, I can see it. Let's go, lunch is ready. Where are you going? Halia had an underground casino, Yaroslav is the only one in the family who knew about it. Well, except for me, the police doesn't know, of course. So while Ivashkenko and his men re-checking Halia's official properties, you and I will check the casino. Stefa also knows about the casino now, Yaroslav recently told her. It has specific premises, it's in a basement. And there are all these storerooms and broom closets, a good place to hide. Okay, let's go. How long have you known Kirkov? Have you done similar jobs for him before? Or was forging Helena Polozova's will for him an isolated incident? I refuse to answer your questions without my lawyer. Your lawyer has run away. Kirokov and you had a deal, right? How many times did he help you get out of difficult situations? You think he's the only one? I have other patrons. I have no doubts. Where is Kirokov? Mr. Hlokov, you will get charged with more than one crime. And I promise you I'll do everything to make sure you get the longest possible prison term. So think about it. Cooperation with the investigation will help you. I don't understand. What exactly did Mr. Kirakov tell you? Actually, we're here to look for him. He has abducted his wife. What do you mean, abducted his wife? Kirakov is a criminal. Zainia, he killed Halina Lvovna. Let's go. It can't be true. It must be a mistake. No, it's not. The police are looking for him. Stay vigilant. He might come back here. The probability is low, but he might. What do I do if he does? I can't call the police. You don't have to. I don't want Halia's memory to be tainted with all this. Call me. Okay. Olena Radevic. Artem Alexiev. Mikhailo Kimishev. Come out. Daria Trehubova. Where are we? At our summer house. In. Fair play. Yaroslav, it hurts. Let's go. Written by Lena Kibina, director and dry Ivanov.
Yaroslav, what's going on? Stefa, believe me, it will be better for everyone. Yaroslav, why did you bring me here? I was afraid you would leave me. What? Hello, Yaroslav? Hi, listen. Episode 4. We need to talk, let's meet. Where are you? What? Assholes, they think I'm an idiot. It was too short. Call again. Call him. He has turned it off. Yaroslav, they must be waiting for us. I know. But I'm not going to jail. I have other plans. Stefa, Stefa, please sit down and be quiet. Stefa, Stefa, wait. Stop. Stop. Let go, let go of me. Stefa, don't. It was you, you killed my mother. Thank you, I'm sorry, I totally forgot about my raincoat and papers. You should be more careful, I'm sorry I don't invite you in, I don't want to disturb the kids. Have you found anything? No, we were to the casino, too, there is no one there. She was online yesterday and haven't showed up since. Why look for her online? Maybe she'll find a way to contact us. What way, Artem? What are you talking about? Last time she used her phone was several hours ago. I think dad. Father took it from her. First our mom abandons us. Now our father proves to be a killer. Awesome. Why is all this happening to us? Where is our Stefa? Okay, Nina. Calm down. I'm sure they'll find her. Okay. Okay. What do the cops say? I called Ivashkinko. They are checking mom's properties. Also, they have arrested Yaroslav's accomplice, that lawyer who had put together the will. Keep me posted, all right? Sure, let's go. Listen, she isn't as bad as they told us. She even looks like grandma. Do you like her now? A couple days ago you wouldn't even hear about her, you know? This Ihor isn't that bad, either. Do you like him now? You only talked to him for three minutes. Is that enough for conclusions? You monkey. Nothing. You two go home, I have no right to take you with us. Yes, Martina? I remembered, Yaroslav once took me to a summer colony and left there for a week. He wanted me to break up with Dima, that's the methods he uses. I thought, what if Stefa is there now?
Martina tried to remember maybe there was some special fence, or chimney, or gate, a well in the yard. Excuse me, can I ask you something? Yes, sure. Hi. Hi. Oh, you're the police. Yes, don't worry, it's just a couple questions. Can you tell us where Yaroslav Kirokov's house is? I never heard of him. Have you heard the name Polozov, maybe? No, I don't think so. Have you ever seen this man? No, never. If you see him, please call this number. You've got it. Is he a criminal? Yes, a dangerous one. Thank you for your time, ma'am. Thank you. I can't recognize anything. It has been years. Oh, shit. Stop, there's his car. It's here. I'm sure. Stay here and don't do anything. He was hoping to escape abroad. Send a squad and let them bring dogs. Please. Did you forget how to brush your teeth? Call an ambulance. Nina, what's wrong? I'm having a miscarriage. Call an ambulance. Are you pregnant? An ambulance? Okay, okay, I'll call them. Wait. I'm calling them. You go inside, you search the yard. What's up? They must be here somewhere. They couldn't have gone for. I found a bag in the house, money, a passport, a fake one, of course. I see. He didn't have time to get it when he was running away. Or he plans to come back. 
Come here. Your work here is done. You can go back to the city. To do what? Sit around and wait. Please, we are family. Maybe there is something we can do. Who knows what can come up? In the present situation, you are a problem rather than us. It. Go take a bus. Don't put yourselves or me at risk. Listen, I'm a professional emergency physician. If things go south, I can at least deliver first aid. Or are you going to wait for an ambulance? I'm staying. It does make sense. And I? And you, Martina. Go home. He's right. Stay in touch. Oh, the young father. I'm her brother. How is she? Right, you look alike. What's your name? Artem. Listen, Artem. To treat Nina. Well, I need your parents to sign their consent. What does Nina say? It doesn't mean what Nina says. She is underage. Listen, do your parents know that she is pregnant and that she's in the hospital? Why was it you who brought her in? You need to find Martina. Martina Polozova. Who is she, your mother? Foster parent. Okay. Give me her number. I don't have it. What do you mean? How? I really don't have it. Just find Martina Polozova, please. Just find her, please. Martina Polozova, just find Martina. Hello? What? Hello again. Have you found that guy? No. Darling, you look so pale. Have you skipped breakfast? Come inside. I'll make you a sandwich. Later. Do you have a car? Yes. My husband has one. Please. I really need to get to the city. Come on. Zainia, listen to me. Bring me all the cash that is in the casino, now. Yes. In an hour. Village Kaliazan. I'll be waiting at the bus stop. Remember, if you tell anyone, I'll drug all of you down with me. Starting with you. The dog has picked up the scent. Come on, go follow the scent. Another poor thing. And I'm here, enjoy. Oha, look at her. She's either crazy or drunk. Eyes on your food. Hena, I can handle it myself. Who did it to you? 
My husband. <laughs> the bastard. I need to make an urgent call. Okay, sit down for a minute. Why don't you let me drive? Is something wrong? We're going too slow. Slowly but surely. Go follow the scent. Slim. Scent. Go. The dog has lost the scent. We need to spread. Come here. Hello? Stefa, are you okay? Where are you? At a cave. Durava. It's called Durava, the 90th kilometer of the Northwestern Highway. Did you get it? Give me the car keys. Stay there. Don't go anywhere. Everything is fine. Calm down. I think I see him. Take cover. Hirokov, stop. Come on, let's get you freshened up. Your beloved will freak out if he sees you like this. That way? Nina, calm down, you'll be okay. My darlings. Hi. Well, do you know what you want? I'm scared. Scared of making a decision? I understand. What does the doctor say? He says I should abort it. Like, at my age, I can't handle it. Where is he? He has just been here. I'll be right back. Nina. Come on. Don't cry. Don't listen to this doctor. Do you know what can happen after your first abortion? Infertility. You got knocked up. You have to see it through if you don't want to be childless. Please stay out of her business. Sure, it's not our problem, it's her life. Good that you understand it. Well. I'm Nina Kirakova's mother. Are you sure? 
Artem didn't even have your phone number. I'm sure I'm their mother. Can I see your passport? Thank you. Good, well, if you sign the consent, we'll do all the necessary tests, and tomorrow or the day after we'll terminate her pregnancy. Just like that. Do we have other options? Why not? Martina, of course there is. I just thought that the other option isn't good for you. Do you want her to have this baby? I don't want to make the decision for her. And she in her present state can't make any decisions. We are in fact doing your job for you. Talking Nina out of having this baby, slightly exaggerating the difficulties, while you. Her body is strong enough for it, of course. She'll just need to be extra careful for a few days. Think about it. She's 15. She'll have the baby at 16. You think she'll be able to take care of it? It will all be on you. You know, there is no need to tell scary stories to me or Nina. Just tell me if she is able to carry this baby to term. That's all we need from you. In theory, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. My poor girl, what have you gone through? Did they find him? No, I'll tell you on the way. Wait, Ola. Yes? Can I? Ola was a great help. She actually saved me. Hello? Hi. Okay, let me. No, don't even go there. Please, I insist. It was also care and understanding. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take her home and take a good care of her. Have some rest. Good luck. Zainia. Are you injured? Give me the money. How? Hiroko, freeze. You're under arrest. Thank you. What saved me was that he didn't expect me to react like that. I didn't expect it from myself. Drop the gun. Here he is. Miss, not so fast. Is he injured? Yes. Let me in, one gunshot wound. Yes, his shoulder. Let me... Okay. Do you feel dizzy? He needs to go to the hospital. Okay. I bought this one in Thailand. 
Can I try it? Of course, it's magic. You apply it at night. And next morning you have no bruises, no pimples, no wrinkles, nothing. Will my face still be there? How about dinner or maybe tea? No, I'm going to visit Nina. Artem is with her. I want to see her. Besides, Artem is just a boy. What can he do for her? Wait. First, Nina is okay and is probably already asleep. Second, it's time Artem stopped being just a boy. You think we can let them handle this situation themselves? This situation? Yes. Otherwise, they'll never grow up. Darling, you gave up too much for the sake of others. It's time for you to stop postponing your life until everyone else's problems are solved. You might find out that your life has passed by. Better tell me where you're going to take Ihor. You two have something to celebrate. Usually it's him who's taking me somewhere. So now it's your turn. He's a good guy. Well, we have extracted the bullet, the wound is nice and clean. But I'll have to keep him here till morning for observation. When will I be able to question him? When he wakes up from the anesthesia tomorrow around midday. How is the patient doing? He's fine. Pavlo Ivanovic, what about my question? What? Will you hire me back? Come tomorrow to do the paperwork. Congratulations. And thank you for everything. T. Sure. Let's go to the on-call room. Let's. <laughs> when is he going to open this door? Give him a minute. Hi. Hey. I'll probably go and give you two a chance to catch up. Did you tell him? No. Okay. I'll go get something to eat. What can I get you? A burger? A milkshake. Okay, milkshake. You've got it. Okay. How are you? Yeah. I've brought you something. I don't want anything from you. I'm sorry. Yeah. I've been thinking. I have decided that I have to be with you. Have two. Yes. I mean, no. Yes. I want to be with you. Have you told your mom? Not yet. But I will. I promise she won't bother you again. I'm sorry for waking you up. No, I was already up. I'm glad that everything ended up okay. Yes, coffee? Yes, please. I'm going back to the States. I've already talked to them. I can have my job back. I came to say goodbye. Why leave? You could run the tennis academy. I don't know. 
You could do it to honor mom's memory. You are a real pro with a huge experience. You'll be better at it than anyone else. What about Martina? Will she agree to it? We'll ask her, of course, but I don't think she'll say no. Well, deal. I'm all for it. Deal. Good. I promise you. I swear on my kids. I have no idea why he did all this. I didn't know he was setting up Martina. What did you think he was doing? Playing dress up? Or did he just want to see you in a similar dress and hairdo? No. I knew it was weird. But Yaroslav, I mean, Mr. Kurakov asked me, so I did it. Do you always do whatever he asks you? He asked me nicely. And he did most of it himself. How much did he pay you? Nothing. Is Kirak of your lover? Yes. What will happen to me now? The court will decide. Where does the money you brought him come from? It's his. I was keeping it for him. Hello. Hi. What can I do for you? I have a reservation for Stefania Polozova. Let me see. Yes, here you are. My coat. Sure, here you go. Thanks. Your table is right there. Hello, here. Thanks. You're welcome. Hi. Hi. This is for you. I'm sorry I'm late. I got holed up at the clinic. So many clients. They are beautiful. No, you are beautiful. Well, champagne? Waiter. A bottle of champagne, please. Yes. Thank you. I'm so happy. Me too. Finally we'll be together. I feel like making plans for the future, but I don't know where to start. I'll tell you. Dear Stefania. Okay. We have a vacancy for a pediatrician at our clinic. How about you apply for it? You wanted to get back to work. But can I? You can start part-time and look how it goes. I've already talked to Dr. Rudko. He can interview tomorrow if you want. I'd like to give it a try. Okay. Now everything is clear. One question remains, though. You mean Nina and Artem? Yes. Don't worry about them. I saw Martina in action. She's a veritable hurricane. Well. To us to us.
I'm so glad they discharged me. I'm sick and tired of this hospital. But are you okay? I'm great. Artem, what's up at school? Everybody can wait for you to come back. Even Masha? Even Masha. How are things between you two? My love life is none of your business. But my love life is everybody's business. Guys, what are you talking about? I helped to make up with Valia. I'm happy for you guys. Even his mom promised to leave us alone. Wait. I have an offer to all of you. Why don't we live together, Stefa? Then you and I won't have to fight over anyone or anything. We have enough apartments and even a country house. Take your pick. I don't care where it will be as long as it's with you. I say yes. Let's give it a try. <laughs> read it and sign if everything is correct. No need to read it. Here goes. The case is closed. Now it's up to the court. I have one more question off the record. I'm just curious. Why do you hate the Polozov so much? What's not to hate? This world isn't fair. Some get everything, others nothing. I've been working like a dog since I was young. What did it bring me? Zilch. And these people. They were getting everything just like that. With no effort. What did they do to deserve it? Are they special? When I met Martina, I thought, here it is, my life project, my chance. Here it is. But I was wrong. Halina Olvovna didn't let me anywhere near her business. Here goes. And this bitch Martina was screwing around. In the end, she dumped me and our kids. Okay, maybe you had reasons to dislike Mrs. Polozova and Martina. But Stefa, what did she ever do to you? Stefa? Halina decided to compensate me for my troubles by putting Stefa in my bed. But it wasn't what I wanted. I needed money, position, status, not Stefa, whatever. I'll get through it. At least I got even with my mother-in-law. What a bastard you are, Kirokov. Good luck. I'll be right back. An apple? Yes, please. Thanks. Hold this. Okay. I can see it in your eyes. You are going to win? Mom, no, enough. It's a talisman. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you. Go for it. Artem, focus. Take the initiative from the very first moment. Okay, go. I believe in you. Artem, good luck. She's okay. There's nothing to worry about. Shall I give her something for her fever? No, she just got cold. Tomorrow she'll be fine. Tata, did you hear the doctor? You never run away from your mommy.
let's go. Well, family. Artem. Well done, Artem. Thank you. Okay, stand closer together. Let's take a selfie for Stefa. Say racket. Racket. Why is she crying? I don't know. The kids have texted me something. Well, Dr. Stefa, how has your day been so far? Look. <laughs> cool. They all look great. Yes. Everybody keeps distracting me. Can't you see I'm working? Are you happy? I am.